Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be creating my currently page for the month of March, 2021. And I'm gonna be using the Mega Brights book. So if you do not know about these Mega books, they are exactly what you think they are. They are massive. I think there's about a hundred sheets, which is crazy, but the Brights book has a lot of rainbow stickers. And for the month of March, my divider is all rainbows. So I thought it would be cute to whip this book out and create my currently page to just be an explosion of bright colors and rainbows which is normally not really my cup of tea. I really, don't get me wrong, I love bright colors. That is always my go-to. But rainbows is just not normally my vibe. But I am really, really extra happy with how this turned out. I love this page. So I think that it is such a good kickstart to this new year of me doing my currently page every single month. So this mega book was perfect for this month. I just love how it turned out. So honestly, I don't think that I really grabbed many other books. I'm pretty sure I got almost every single sticker out of this one mega book. So really happy with that. I pretty much whited out everything or at least covered up pretty much everything on the page itself and found a lot of stickers that worked out well to complement everything that I kind of envisioned. So I put down, what is it, five different boxes and labeled each one something that I am currently doing. So drinking, watching, looking forward to, praying for, and enjoying. And next month, I will actually fill it out on camera. I, I guess I just kind of dropped the ball on that, but um, I did already write it all in. And then I put a tiny little um, matching sticker over top of it. So that's where the label goes. And then I write inside of it what I'm currently watching or currently looking forward to and so on and so forth. And then I compartmentalize for the bottom to be a little spot where I'm going to put a cute little spotlight of where one of my best friend's birthdays is going to be happening this month. So pretty excited for that. And I pull this sticker up under the currently because I just thought the little rainbow banner would be cute up there. So I rearranged that and then did a little layering with washi down at the bottom. And then I can't remember if this is when I start to rearrange things or if... I think it is, yeah. So I end up pulling the uh, come on and get happy sticker off. First I use the um, sticker, what are these? The They come in those sticker boxes forever ago. But I, um, I put a few of those down because they were bright. So the high five and then all those exclamation marks. But I'm just trying to figure out what else I can kind of like stick down. But there's so much to choose from. I kind of got overwhelmed in this moment because it's only one page. Like it's not even a spread. So just trying to use everything that I can but also not make it too much <laughs> because I tend to go really sticker heavy, which is not a problem, but I feel like it kind of overwhelms people when they see it on my posts and stuff. But I thought this was cute. These little like doodles for a coffee cup and then a bottle. And I covered up soda because I have not had soda in almost 15 years in a few months. It'll be 15 years. So I covered that up because it's supposed to be like a green tea bottle. And then I pulled out 
the tiny book so that I could find a little TV to put on watching. Then the smiley face for enjoying. Then I realized it would be cute to have a little label on top of that little bullet point checklist on the right side. So now is when I officially start pulling things up because I want to have something cute mm -hmm. for Haley's birthday, but, and I feel like a, a circle would be perfect, but it's just not enough space. So I'm going to pull up that come on and get happy and move it up. So with that open space down there at the left-hand side, I wanna put this big quote, there is much to celebrate. So just kind of shifting things around, not a big deal. I feel like it actually turned out much better this way. Again, shout out to the slanted tweezers. They come in handy when you're having to move things around. It just makes it so much easier. So once everything's moved around, I love how it turned out. Oh, I love this page so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment for more. Bye, guys.